forget to subscribe and share. Hi, welcome back. This time I am going to show you how we can find free 3D models for printing and how to customize them for our needs using Tinkercad. One of the best sources for free 3D printing models out there is the Thingiverse. Finding what you need is easy. Just search for what you are looking for and pick the one you like from the results. Once you select a model, it will take you to its details page. If you go to Makes tab, you can see all the prints people have done using this model. If you are happy with it, just click Download. All you need is the STL file of the model to print it. This is how I printed this beautiful vase using my Creality ND3 Pro printer. It took around 24 hours to print this. See how beautiful it turned out to be. Another source for a few printable models is the Tinkercad. It has printable models that we can print and assemble together. You have to print each part separately. So grab and place these parts until the print area is full. You will have to print these in groups. Give it a try if you like this kind of models. This is the dinosaur model I printed and assembled. Ok, let's get down to business. Today I am going to show you how to create a pencil holder using a nameplate model. First, let's find a model I like in Thingiverse. I like this one, so let's select it. Don't forget to check the description. Make sure to read through the description as it explains all the things you need to know before printing. If you like a model, you can add it to your collection so you can find it easily next time. Since this is a customizable model, let's click and open in the customizer button. Let's customize this as we like. Type the text what you want to appear in the first and second line. Also check out what other options it allows us to change. I'm going to add an icon to the left side of the text. I like YouTube icon. Let's make the second line bit smaller so it looks nice. That's all the changes I need. But you can change the font and other stuff as well if you want. If everything looks okay, click on the create thing. This might take a while. When it's ready, click on the view thing. Now you can download your model from this page. Ok, let's see how we can turn this into a pencil holder by using Tinkercad. Watch my previous video on 3D designing using Tinkercad if you are new to this. Click on create new design to get us started. Let's start by giving our design a meaningful name. Now we need to import the model we downloaded from the Thingiverse into Tinkercad. Just click on the import button and select the STL file to import. 
By placing a ruler on the work plane, it will show us all the dimensions of a selected object. You can switch between different viewports and see how the model looks like from different angles. You can also rotate as you need. Everything looks good. What we have to do now is to create a few holes that can hold pencils and pens. We need to find out the diameter of pens and pencils we wish to place on this. I will use a caliper to measure different pens and pencils. So from the looks of it, a 9mm hole will be good for these types of pens. We can create holes easily by selecting the cylinder shape hole from this object list. Then we need to change the size to 9mm. When the size is correct, let's create a few more copies of this. Simply select and click on the duplicate and repeat button. You can move the clone using arrow keys. By clicking the duplicate button again, We'll repeat the steps we did and nicely place new objects into position. I need three larger holes to hold my highlighters. So I'm going to make three of them a bit bigger. Remove unwanted holes and position the holes to fit your model. When everything looks right, we need to make them aligned using the align icon. Let's increase the height so the holes are taller than the object and also rotate them a bit. Then place them inside the model using arrow keys while checking from different angles. If you are happy with the placement, it's time to create some holes. Simply select everything and click on the group icon to group them together. This will create a single solid object with holes cut out where the cylinders were. Have one last look and if everything looks correct, click on the export button to download the STL file to your computer. Okay, now we need to convert this model to a file format that the 3D printer understands. We use an application called a slicer for this. My favorite one is Cura. First, open the STL file you downloaded in Cura. It will show how it will be placed on the print bed of the printer. You can zoom, rotate, scale and move this model as well. The red highlighted area shown on the model are called overhangs that need supports to print. 
But since I know that my printer can print up to 70 degrees without supports, let's increase the value and see if I really need those supports. Guess not. All looks good. You can select a profile for this print from the top slider. Lower the value, better the quality of the printed model. Infill lets you decide how much printing going to happen inside the model. 100% is fully solid. For this print, I am going to use the lowest quality since there are no fine details in the model. I will go with 20% infill as it doesn't have to be very strong. Once we are happy with the settings, we can click on slice. This will take some time. Once slicing is done, it will show us how much time it will take to print this as well as the filament usage. We can also preview how it's going to be printed. We can step through each layer or see how each layer is printed. Let's save this G-code file to an SD card so we can print this on the printer. Okay, let's start printing. Insert the SD card to the printer and let's turn it on. We need to heat up the head and the bed so we can insert filament. Let's put the filament roll into the spool holder. Heating takes a while to complete. I'm going to make it go to its home position. From the prepare menu, we can select the change filament option. When the extraction is done, we can feed the filament to the extruder. Gently push until it bites onto the filament and starts feeding. Keep extruding until the filament is fed all the way up to the print head. We are ready to print now. Select print from TF card option and select the G-code file we copied to start printing. That's all. Now let's wait until it's completed. I have a time-lapse video of the entire printing so you can enjoy the print. I love watching this. Enjoy the rest of the video. I have included some clips of my other prints as well. It will show you what 3D printing is capable of nowadays. Remember, it takes a lot of practice getting everything to print nicely. We need to make sure the printer is in top shape and the bed is level perfectly for any print to succeed. Also, the parameters in the slicer software are very important.
बाय बाय Please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and click the bell icon. It will help me continue creating videos like this in the future.